Hello everybody, welcome back to GamerCam, and finally I'm back with some FIFA 14. I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back, and I'm bringing FIFA 14 to you guys. And this is a career mode, which I'm starting, and it's going to be with Newcastle United, and my favourite team. So yeah, let's get on to this, and we start with a 60% increase transfer budget, which is not bad. Mike Ashley's putting his finger in his pocket. A bit more, 60% more, and we get a top global scouting, well, a scout, <laughs> a top scout. So, um, yeah, let's get advancing. So, there's Newcastle United, the best team, well, not the best team, but my best team. Alright, so we are back, and we are here, and it's loading up now. My name is Mr. Gamercam, like a boss, just like a boss. I haven't checked it so it might be like a mistake but hope it's not and apparently FC Bayern Munich have sold 42 million for Goethe. Oh I wanted him. Um... Yeah it would have been an exciting prospect to have at Newcastle United. Um... So this is where we are now, start of a new season with Newcastle United and I have six messages on in the office. Domestic Cup, 16, stage round of 16, I think I can try and get the team better than that. Um, port and transfer, market information, introducing myself, blah blah blah, introducing global transfer network. I know about this, oh no. what? What? I can't remember that. I can't remember him picking up an injury. Oh well. So we've got to get in to qualify for the Euro Europa League. It's it sit on here Euro, Euro League, but in reality, it's the Europa League. And oh, I've downloaded the squads. That's why. It must be. Oh no. So let's. That's the team. That's basically. And I'm gonna readjust this to um. The a bit like the best team I can put out, to be honest. Um. So yeah. All right. So this is the team. Check to you. He's injured. This is a team I've um, attempted to put out. It's more like the default Newcastle squad, but I think it might be the strongest. Possibly. I don't know. I'll see how they go. But I think my change at Mike Williamson there to bring another you know English there, and he is pretty good, Mike Williamson, but. Um, yep, yeah. replaced basically just replaced everyone. Put Papi CC on, I know. I'm just gonna give him a chance, see what he's gonna be like on FIFA. If he's always offside, like he always is, normally <laughs> at the at matches. And I'll show him you will be. You're coming on. <laughs> All right, so there is our five star experience and five star judgment manager. I mean, not manager. What am I thinking? A scout. Scout. That's our top scout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him to the. Where should I send him to? Um, France, Germany. I'll send him to Germany to see if he can get. Um, cause that's where all the talent seems to be now. You know, with Mario Goethe. Um, gonna go in. Um, I don't know if I pronounce that. Um. Michael Royce, you know, there's a lot of German talent there. Um, Schweinsteiger, you, Lahm, you can go on forever. So I'm going to um, set a scouting network up there. I'll put the instructions on in a minute. But I'm going to send somebody off to the Premier League and, you know, you, England in general, to see what's going on. I'm going to try and send somebody over to Italy because there's a few, Ital there's a few talent in Italy, I think. You know, with Andre Perlo, El Shawari, Mario Balotelli, you know, there's a lot, and I think I could try and get somebody decent, you know. So, yeah, and I might send the last one, you know, send him to Spain. Now, you'll have a look, you'll have a luxurious holiday there, but no, you're scouting. Oh, alright, so these are the um, st um, attributes that I'm looking for. Obviously a striker, 
which is what Newcastle actually desperately need in in, in real life. But Joe it and might actually will not go for anybody. So hopefully Joe Kinnear will not get in, um, business here. So yeah, I'll put first name quality PAC and attack minded and looking for, for a striker. Um, not going to go over the 20 year because I want him to have some career in Newcastle not coming for a season saying I'm going to leave you and retire. So um, that's what I'm going to do and yeah I've just sent that out and they're on route now. And so yep Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is nowhere near Tim Krul standards and I don't want I know Tim Crystal Palace is a good team but I think Tim Krul you know is I don't want him to go to another Premier League team. I want him to, if I want him to go, I would want him to go somewhere way for, way out of the Premier League. I wouldn't want to, you know, attack, attack him, attack on him because he's a goalkeeper. But then we were found in Germany two players, Joff, uh, Joff and Ramos. So I'm gonna get a scout. A scout. His contract expiring in 12 months. So. Probably come January, I could ask to sign him on contra N. So let's just sign these both. I'm send sign scout to both. The scout report. Oh, that's just there. Oh, wait a minute. This is from England. He's he's got Danny Welbeck and Daniel Sturridge, and you know Daniel Sturridge and Daniel Welbeck would be a good thing. Good good pair to bring to the club. I think. Daniel Sturridge won't come to Newcastle. To be honest, not even his. <laughs> but I'm gonna um, put an offer in for him. Oh, 23 million to spend. I'm gonna put him for his bit more than his stats value. I know it's it's very ambitious to get, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot, anyways. Um, Daniel Daniel Welbeck. I might put an offer in for him. Ask him to scout a bit more. And let's get further and further towards the season. And there we go. And Daniel Sturridge has rejected us, so something's too low. And I don't want to go like over. We don't really need him this minute. And current Benzema. <laughs> well, he's French, so you might join. Um, you know what? I may just put an offer in for him. Just you know what? It'd be really good if we got him. It would be absolutely actually amazing if we got him. But I'm not gonna. Once again, this is gonna be very ambitious. I'm just gonna shove 19 million. I don't want to go like over, you know, 20 million or something for a player at this stage. But you pick up, we sell out Adrian, and that's a scout. Let's scout him. See if he's he's an exciting prospect. And yeah, we're very ambitious ambitious here. And Muriel, I thought it was the entire there from it. And Rossi, um. I think I might. I just shout, I scout, shout, scout. Both of them. I could put an offer in for Rossi. Um, may as well try. You know, he's got experience, some experience, and I'm gonna put about 40 million in for him. I know it's under where it is, where it's probably is worth, but I'm gonna try and get him for a cheaper deal. You know, getting in the deals. Somebody is interesting. No, I don't know if Steam Taylor will want to leave Newcastle IRL, but I think I'm gonna put a six million, no, about a five million price tag on him. I want at least five, five million, double the amount that West Bromwich Albion um, said they would buy him for. Gonna put, gonna put it up to. Six million. I know he, he might might go for that. I don't know, but just to get a little more money and West Bromwich Albion, I'm not letting him go for that. <laughs> but under paying again, I'm gonna put five million four hundred thousand on the line. Well, on the line, but anyway, let's carry on. So we come, up, so we get. So Florentino came up and saying they want twenty million for Rossi. I don't know, I'm gonna wait until see if you know see if CC actually goes, and if he does go, then I'll make a move on him. Now, seeing 
FCNS. I don't know how to pronounce this, what the teams on it, I'm sorry. But they've offered 5.5 million. So now expect an acceptable one. I respond, you know, 6 million. So there you go. Oh yay, 27 million. <laughs> Benzema wants to be gone for 27 million. How much more shall be in it? Said they want 4.5 million for Steven Taylor. It's 5 million. Five mil at least five million I want for him. You're not getting him for any cheaper. Any cheaper. And yep, saying Etienne has put has agreed to the six million price tag on Pat East MCC and they're going ahead with it. So you know we might lose our strike and we might have to go for Ramos or Dioff straight away. The one to get. So let's just put I know he's played he played for Sunderland, didn't he? Oh. Oh, nah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I just realised he played for Sunderland, and I'm not gonna. You know, if you want, just there, just he's going. Just, just ten million. <laughs> that's a, that's a lot of ambitious. And CC has rejected it. CC has rejected moving. To send Eddie in, and he's said he's one willing to relocate. And West Bromwich Albion have stopped his you and Stephen Taylor, so we've got our striker and we've got our um, centre back, so that's uh, alright. We've got a th West Bromwich Albion after all my centre backs. <laughs> um, Colacini, 6 million, I think. You know, he's been at the club for a while, he's 31 years old. Um, I think I've put 6 million, he's a main centre back as well. And our first friendlies against Bayern Munich. Final scout report on Adrian. Let's have a look at that. So we're just getting the scout report back from Adrian. It looks very promising. 25 years old. He's got a good acceleration, good dribbling, ball control is good, sprint speed is good, reaction is good, attack position is 80. So let's um, put an offer in for him. Let's put, let's put let's be safe and put 11 million in. He's a squad rotation player, so he might, you know, decide to move to Newcastle. And West Bromwich Albion have agreed to get Fabrizio Colicini. So I think I'll be looking for a new centre back. But we've got some in our squad, which you know it might do. But I think we might need, you know, a bit more players. All right, so these are the. Instructions are saying no, the scout defensive minded and strong. That's all you really need for a centre back really. But they should come back with us with some information and our first game is Borussia Bot is a uh, Borussia Bot I'm saying Borussia Bot Bayern Munich, which is very, very difficult. But I'm gonna play the friendlies, I'm not gonna skip them. Ten players he's found. That's a lot of places. <laughs> That's almost will be very expensive though. Forty million actually. You know, let's be ambitious again and put it off. Oh god. Um. Put ninety million in for him. I know it's a lot of money, and I need more players. But what well, Benega Javier does, I mean, put an offer in for him. You know, not what what's the worst that could happen? We could just just you know. So here we go. So here we go for this match: Newcastle versus Bayern Munich. Um, pretty strong line. It's a, it's a mixture between you know it's something you put out the Capital One Cup game or FA Cup game against Premier League side. Mid strong, if you know it's a midweek game. You need to rest your players. You don't know, you need strikers. But I got CC and Remy up front. See how they cope and see what CC's future will be at Newcastle United. So let's get get all on with this um, friendly. We are for this match by Newcastle United against Bayern Munich. I think everybody will know which way it's going to go. <laughs> but, you know, fighting Newcastle. I'm sure we can win this. But here comes Sissoko on the right. And it's Remy in the centre. And that's 1-0 Newcastle against Bayern Munich. Now, Ruick Remy is a, is already a player who I'm looking to sign permanently. 
So sort of go with the cross and Remy with a header, it's what he does best. Oh look at that header, that header. Oh it's, C C it's CCA, oh, oh he's got, got it back, CCA, come on CCA. Whip across in for Remy, it's Remy on the head again, it's only Remy on the head again. Newark Remy, we're 2-0 up here. I'll start off when it's the start of the season. And Sammy Amiovi with the hit and it's gonna go to Shola Amiovi. Oh So close Anyway, if you this is the this is gonna be um the end of this episode. If you like this episode then be sure to like, favorite and subscribe. This will be a weekly um, series and yeah, I shall see you in the next video.